Metamorris is the name of a, of a Native American character. And I read a book about this guy who wanted to unite tribes. And he wanted to, aside from the differences of these different Native American tribes, he wanted to unite them against the settlers and defend you know, their land. And uh, you know, it's a very noble cause and everybody knows the story. But for me, it meant something very personal because jujitsu is very tribal. You know, you have these different academies everywhere and people are very serious about representing their academies. And we thought, man, you know, let's create something that these different tribes can kind of come against each other, but in a way that represents the art, represents unity, represents like real, like po the positive side of jujitsu, you know, which is what I was raised with and what I was influenced by. And, uh, you know, it's, it's metamorphs. Yeah, man, I think my inspiration was if you can have a match with no time and no points, you'll find out who the best is, you know, and my inspiration came from my grandfather. It came from the idea that as a smaller guy, he couldn't go into a match against a much larger person and have a five minute time limit because he would have to use all of his strength to try to impose something get tired before that person. And instead, he tried to do no time limit with these bigger guys. And he would kind of just use his technique to leverage himself to save his energy. People would waste their energy and then he would beat them. Now, what we're doing is trying to do something more in the middle. Now, if you want to learn self-defense the way my grandfather taught it, you can learn that at different schools that you know really promote that and teach it that way. But if you want to push your jujitsu and be the best in jujitsu, we have to find a balance between understanding that there's a self-defense side and understanding that there's a competition side. And that's what I tried to do, you know, and say, okay, we have 20 minutes, but we don't need all these points. You know, we can have more space and we can have these guys more free to use their different styles against each other and not be limited to, or, or be forced to try, to try to create a style that adjusts to the point system as it is. Yeah, I think IBJJF is, the rule system that they have set up was, it was a wonderful builder for Jiu Jitsu, you know, and if you have a huge tournament with 2,000 competitors, you can't have 20 minute matches, you know, it just doesn't make sense. You can't do that in a weekend and organize it and structure it. So they, in order to have the mass quantity of, you know, competitors that they have, they have to have, you know, the five minutes, the, the six minute time limits, and it goes up to about 10, I think, if you're black belt. And you know, that's awesome and it's really cool. I think you know, it's, it's more focused on the mass and the, the greater percentage of people you know, competing, which is the, kind of the lower belts, I think. And that's why when we came in and said, okay, let's get the best black belts that we can find and put them in this more open space, you know, we created the matches that we saw at our event. We saw the jiu-jitsu kind of open up, which you know, I think a lot of people did and, and saw and enjoyed. And, um, but I think it's, it's great for a base for Jiu Jitsu, for the masses to compete and, and get time on the mat and go in there and test themselves and feel uncomfortable. I also think it's important though that people don't lose track of that idea that, you know, how you should train in an academy where you shouldn't think about points and you shouldn't think about time or, you know, and you should roll for the sake of, you know, knowing more about Jiu Jitsu. I think um, if we want to talk about very specifically street fighting or MMA or street self-defense, I feel that there's a lot of pure jujitsu techniques that are not going to apply. You know, if I'm preparing for an MMA fight or a freestyle fight of any kind, I'm not going to be using a lot of my jujitsu. I'm going to be using a very basic set of my jujitsu and you know different techniques that might surprise somebody depending on the time, but. A lot of stuff goes out the window, even for me. And I feel like I have a very basic jujitsu, you know? Um, so when you have nothing to worry about, you have no punches, no strikes to worry about, and you can just play your jujitsu game, you can get very creative on the different sweeps that you can go for because there's no threat of those strikes. Um, so absolutely, you, you know, in a, in a more realistic situation, in a fight, you have to limit your jujitsu and a lot wouldn't apply. And I think, you know, everybody knows that or should know that. But jujitsu, the, the, the competition art, you know, is much more flashy and much more in depth, you know, which is a good thing. I think it's awesome. What's really exciting
exciting is the is the MMA presence, you know, is having Shinya Aoki. He just won, you know, he's just he just recently got the one FC championship title. You know, we have Brendan Schaub who's a UFC fighter. And I'm really excited to to kind of showcase that, you know, there's these MMA guys who are black belts or brown belts or top, you know, jujitsu guys who are training jujitsu all the time, but get the opportunity or take the opportunity, better yet, to come in and test themselves in jujitsu against some top guys. Um, and then, you know, obviously those matches are exciting to me. I want to see, you know, what Brendan Schaub is going to do in there. You know, that's a really tough fight for him. I want to see what Shin is going to do with Krohn. And I feel like his jiu-jitsu is going to be a different, you know, style. And Krohn's not going to be used to that. And it's no gi and it's going to be slippery. And so it's going to be a very entertaining match. It's going to be very, you know, open. You know, it's not going to be a very, very specific jiu-jitsu technical match, which is awesome. So yeah, more of those matches, but Braulio and, and, and Rodolfo is going to be bananas. And, you know, my, my initial thought was, let's do 20 minutes, no points. If nobody submits anybody, it's just a draw, you know, call it a draw. And my thing was, let's have everybody focus on a submission and nothing else matters. And that's cool. But after Metamorphs 1, I thought, man, you know, after seeing the matches that happened, the three matches that went to a draw, I felt like only one of them was a draw. And I felt like the other two were clearly not a draw. And it was very apparent to me and I thought, man, there's something wrong with this. So after analyzing it, I've kind of troubleshooted a, 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 a kind of a three judge decision process that I think is going to be really beneficial for Jiu Jitsu and for where we're going with, with this event. And it's exciting, man. And it's basically judging the match as a whole, in a holistic way, saying, okay, if I think this person came in and tried this and tried that and used this much energy and flipped the person this way and, and achieved this and got this close to a submission, I think they won. And, and, a, and a master of Jiu Jitsu being able to make that decision is actually very easy for them. You know, it's an easy thing for me to sit back and be like, all right, after watching this, I think this person had the better of this other person in the match, rather than leaving it up to a point system. Whereas like with Bouchesha's match with Hadra, I think Bouchesha had the better of, Bush of Hadra in that match. However, Hadra won by IG IBJJF standards. So we want to be able to keep that openness and be able to make a decision without having a restrictive you know, uh, rule set. And that's it, and, and award the art, you know, the display of the art. Um, and that's, that's the biggest change from the first event. Awesome. It's hard to tell, man. I don't have a crystal ball. It's hard to tell, but we, um, we're trying to create something where you hear about metamorphs happening, and you say, man, I gotta go see that. I know it's going to be a good show. I don't even know who's on the card. You know, I just know it's going to be good. If it's Metal Morris, it's going to be awesome. And I think um, if we can achieve that, we've really done something really cool for Jiu Jitsu. You know, I think Jiu Jitsu is like a huge underdog right now in society. I think it's so powerful. I think it has so much uh, power to give and so much positivity to give to people's lives that, you know, that I experienced and grew up experiencing that I think um, you know, we owe it to kind of create this very cool version, this very cool place where Jiu Jitsu can be experienced in that, in that really top tier way, you know? And in a way where the experience of the, the production is at the same level of you know, the athletes that you're watching. three is going to be exciting. Um, we're getting very close to, to locking down some names and I can't say anything yet, but if you're watching Metamorphs 2, you're going to see what's on Metamorphs 3. Very good. It's going to be great. <laughs>